Well, hello everyone. I'm Reverend Carol, and I'm bringing you your YFM story this week. And this week, the story is about willingness. Do you know what that means? Well, it's about saying yes to trying something new or trying something different. And, you know, just being willing to do something that maybe you weren't before. You know, willingness opens the door for possibilities we cannot see. And it also allows us to experience God within all circumstances. You know, everyone has the option to say no. No, I don't want to learn. I don't want to work that hard. Or I don't want to love that person. Because we were created with free will. And saying no is part of our development. Huh? It's part of growing up. But eventually, saying we realize that saying no to everything may not bring us joy or happiness. So we have to learn how to say yes to new opportunities. And that's what this story is about. But l I'm going to share the affirmation. And it is, my heart and my hands are willing and ready to try. And I'm going to say it two more times, and I hope you'll repeat it with me. My heart and my hands are willing and ready to try. All right, last time. My heart and my hands are willing and ready to try. All right, today's story is called Cuddles Misses Out. Cuddles and Biscuits were happy to be pets and they shared everything, including their people, Mike and Martha. The people and the dogs lived together in a little blue house in the city. Martha gave Cuddles her name because she loved to cuddle up on the comfy red sofa while Martha read behind, beside her. Mike gave Biscuit her name because he had to, he had only to open the cupboard where the dog biscuits were kept and she would come running from anywhere in the house just to get that treat. <laughs> Cuddles and Biscuits were happy together but they didn't understand one another. Biscuit was always ready for anything Mike or Martha offered. She didn't hesitate at all to try something new because anything could be a fun adventure. When Mike called, Biscuit, would you like to? Biscuit was there wagging her tail before he could even finish his sentence. Cuddles was always willing to cuddle on the sofa, but she considered anything else very carefully before she decided if it was worth her attention or cooperation. In fact, Cuddles was secretly proud of the fact that if she didn't want to do something, nothing could change her mind. No amount of coaxing, pushing, or pulling could get her to go outside when it was raining and cold. Martha had given up trying to make cuddles, try a different brand of dog food, or go to a, on a different route on their evening walk. And Biscuit thought cuddles was missing out on a lot of fun. Cuddles thought Biscuit was a little crazy to take such a risk. What if something happened? When Mike and Biscuit went camping, Cuddles was only interested in staying home on the couch. When they came home, Biscuit told her that it had rained and held and the tent had collapsed. Cuddles smugly said, I told you something would happen. Mike sat on the red sofa and told Martha, 
It rained so hard I couldn't get a fire going. And then the tent collapsed and I had to fix it in the hailstorm. Biscuit was amazing. She even tried to help. When I crawled into the wet sleeping bag, I was glad to have Biscuit to keep me warm that I didn't even notice the wet dog smell. He reached over and gratefully patted the dog's soft black fur. Mike continued his story. In the morning, I realized I had forgotten to pack the dog food, but Biscuit didn't care. She ate cold peanut butter sandwiches with me. I tried fishing off the pier, but instead of catching a fish, I dropped my favorite hat into the water. I wasn't really surprised when Biscuit jumped in and rescued it for me. She's the best companion to have on a disastrous camping trip with me. Camping trip? Thank goodness she came with me. Later that week, Mike yelled. Oh, sorry, I got a little ahead of myself. <clears throat> Martha reached down and stroked Biscuit's soft fur and said softly, You are always ready and willing, aren't you, Biscuit? Cuddles heard the love in her voice. Later that week, Mike yelled, Biscuit, do you want to go for a ride in the car? Of course, Biscuit was in the back seat in a flash. Cuddles prepared to do battle. Riding the car was noisy and bumpy and not something she wanted to do. But Martha walked out the door. I know Cuddles won't go, so why even try? She said to Mike as she got into the car. Cuddles spent a long, quiet, lonely day on the sofa. It was after dark when she heard Mike and Martha laughing as they came into the little blue house. When Biscuit came in, Cuddles quickly asked, I bet something happened, didn't it? Biscuit answered, well, something always happens. That's what makes life interesting. Biscuit laid down on the rug. We went out in this lovely green place where you can run and run and never stop. I chased butterflies and a rabbit. I took a long nap in the sun and Martha gave me treats. There was a stream with fish and I chased those too. We went through the car washing machine on the way home and I barked at all the noisy brushes. What a day! Cuddles watched as Biscuit gave a happy sigh and quickly fell asleep. Martha came in and gave Cuddles a tired pat, but Cuddles barely noticed she was thinking. The next day, when Martha offered a new kind of doggy treat, she was surprised to see both Biscuit and Cuddles come to get one. She was even more surprised to see Cuddles show up what Mike called Biscuit, do you want to go for a run? As they walked out in the sun, sun, sunshine, Kettles thought, I wonder if something will happen. Hmm. Well, what do you think Cuddles changed? Why do you think Cuddles changed in the story? What did Biscuit mean when she said that something always happens? Can you remember a time when you were unwilling to try something new, but later wished you had? Hmm. Willingness. Well, I hope that you will think about being willing to do something different this week. And remember our affirmation is, my heart and my hands are willing and ready to try. Know that we here at Unity of Boston, we love you, we miss you, we bless you, we appreciate you, and we behold the Christ in you. Have a wonderful week.